Do you ever upcycle things that you've already upcycled? Well, this week for Thrifted Thursday, we're going to make over this centerpiece that we had originally crafted for last fall and turn it into a beautiful centerpiece for spring. Hi, crafty friends. I'm Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit and welcome back to our channel. Back in the fall, we took a few different elements that we'd picked up at the thrift store, including this wood canister, an orange tin, as well as this tray that we found all at the Valley Village and upcycled them with some paint and decoupage for fall. And you can find that full video here on our channel. Since then, I had adapted the pieces a little bit and added some silver ornaments at Christmas time along with some greenery. But I really wanted to give it a fresh new look for spring with the warmer weather coming around. I started by repainting this orange canister. I had used a technique with a bit of Vaseline and different layers of paint to to achieve this distressed look and then had stenciled on the word face. So I'm just covering that with some chalk paint. It always bothered me that I could still see the orange in the top part of the inside of the tin. So I've added a bit of paint kind of farther down to really cover that up. And yes, I probably could have done a better job cleaning the inside of it, but there's just not enough time in the day and we're just using this as a decorative piece. So I'll be filling it with some faux florals at the end of this. I was so excited when I found this cute little silver tray at the Valley Village. It was $1.99 and I thought it'd make just a cute little sign or piece of of art. I wasn't sure where I was going to use it, but I think you'll agree that it's the perfect fit for our little centerpiece here. So I just started by painting the middle part of the platter with my white chalky paint and letting that dry completely. After drying that, I did paint a second coat just to make a really nice solid white finish. I set that little piece aside to continue drying and then turned my attention to this cute wood canister. It had some faux fall foliage on the top, which I just removed. I used my heat gun to warm up, rewarm up the hot glue that I had originally used to adhere those onto there and then gently pried those off. I touched up the white paint on the back side of this canister and then decided that I was going to use this really pretty flower napkin that I had in my collection to add on onto that one side of the canister. I used my water pen to trace around this flower and then ripped it off the excess paper and used a little bit of decoupage glue to add that onto the back side of the canister. I used the iron-on technique, which involves painting first a generous coat of your glue. You could also use Mod Podge for this. Then we let that dry completely. And once that's dry, place the napkin on top covered by a piece of parchment paper and then use my little heat iron to press the napkin right onto the surface. This helps to melt that glue that you had brushed on there and adhere the paper for a nice seamless wrinkle-free finish. So now it was time to get back to that cute little silver platter. I decided to use this other napkin with some tulips in a jar and place that just into that center area of the platter that I had painted white. So again, I use the same process, use my water pen to trace around the outside of the design. And this is preferable to cutting with scissors because the edge of the tissue gets kind of this feathered effect that really just blends right into your white painted surface so that you can't see an edge. When you cut it, sometimes you'll see that really sharp edge and it doesn't look as seamless. So again, after tracing around the design with my water pen and then tearing off the excess tissue, I applied a generous coat of decoupage glue onto the painted area of my platter, let that dry completely, and then ironed on the napkin. I did make sure to trim off a bit of that excess design on the tissue along the bottom edge before I ironed the napkin in place. And it just looks so pretty. It looks like it was painted in there just like this. You wouldn't even believe that it was a napkin. Okay, so now it was time to get back to that orange canister that we had repainted white. I again applied a generous coat of decoupage glue and let that dry with my heat tool. And then we decided to apply this really pretty bird napkin. So this is the first craft I think I've done in a really long time that used three different designs of napkins and they were all this 
beautiful floral um, spring motifs, which even though they are different, they go really well together. So I did the same thing, separated it to the single ply of the napkin, and then ironed that right on to the surface of the canister. Around the handles, I just made a little cut and tucked the napkin in around the, the handle. I even folded the top edge of the napkin over so that you, it looked completely seamless at the end. So I hope you can see how versatile this decoupage method is. We use the same technique on wood, on this silver, and on the canister, the metal canister. Okay, so now that each of those pieces have been given a little bit of a spring refresh, it's time to reassemble the centerpiece. I'm using this rustic wood tray that also came from the thrift store, um, but it looks like somebody even had made it originally with some branches and then spray painted it white, but I just love it. It's nice and big. And so I added a little box covered with some tissue paper just to give it a bit of height, the one uh, wood canister, and then arrange these pieces together. I added on my new little silver platter and then turned the arrangement around and tucked in this little pine cone art sign that we'll have the video tutorial for really soon. It's part of our March Creative Habit craft box that you can learn more about in the description below. Now to finish off our little centerpiece, I added on this cute little bird that also came from the thrift store. It was 50 cents. And then um, a wood bead garland just to give it kind of a bit more texture and detail. And there we go, our upcycled centerpiece got an upcycle for spring. I love how each of these elements look on their own and all together, and I hope you found some inspiration in this Thrifted Thursday project. Be sure to like and subscribe for more nature-inspired DIY and crafts. See you next week!